Goldilocks and the Three Bears by Giant Storytime Books In a house in the woods lives Daddy Bear, married to Mum with the golden hair. Smallest of all, playful and fair, is their baby, Little Bear Bottom. It's breakfast time, believe it or not. The porridge is done, but it's way too hot. So they go for a walk while it cools in the pot. Mum, Dad and Little Bear Bottom. Along comes a girl called Goldilocks, wearing her favourite red and blue socks. She walks right in. The girl never knocks. Her manners are gone. She forgot them. She looks for some porridge and guess what? One is too cold and one is too hot. The last is just right, so she gobbles the lot. What a bad little girl. She's rotten. Feeling full up, she wants to sit down. Too hard, too soft, she says with a frown. She tries baby's chair and ends upside down. Crash, she's gone through the bottom. Sleepy Goldilocks goes up to bed. Too high, too low, both beds hurt her head. So she picks the little bear's bed instead. She likes the sheets, they are cotton. The bears come home, the bears are mad. Someone's been eating my porridge, says Dad. Mine too, says Mum, and mine, says their lad. She's eaten it right to the bottom. Someone's been sitting in my chair too, says Dad. Then Mum, oh, what shall we do? And my chair's broken. Boo-hoo, it was new, cries sad little baby bear bottom. They race up the stairs and hearing a knock, Goldilocks suddenly wakes with a shock. Baby bear screams and she's up like a shot. There's the intruder. We've got them. She jumps from the window and runs away. She's learning a lot about bears today. Their beds, their chairs, and to stay far away from the porridge of Baby Bear Bottom. The End Three Little Pigs by Giant Storytime Books Three little pigs left home one day. They packed their bags and went on their way. Mother Pig said, goodbye, bye-bye. But a wolf saw them go and thought, mmm, pork pie. The first little pig met a man selling straw. This will make a good house, I know it for sure. He paid for the straw and stacked it up high. But the wolf licked his lips, thinking, mmm, stir fry. The second little pig met a man selling wood. I'll build my house with this. It looks quite good. He worked all day and did not stop. But the wolf licked his lips, thinking, mmm, pork chop. The third little pig met a man selling bricks. These look strong, much better than sticks. He built his house all shiny and new, but the wolf licked his lips, thinking, mmm, barbecue. When the homes were finished by the piggies three, they went inside to cook their tea. The wolf was feeling hungry too, he licked his lips, thinking, mmm, pork stew. Said the wolf to Piggy Straw, now let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So the wolf huffed and puffed and the house went wham. Then he licked his lips, shouting, 
Mmm, roast ham! Piggy Straw ran to the house made of wood. The wolf said to the pigs, Let me in, I'll be good. The wolf huffed and puffed and the house went smash. Then he licked his lips, shouting, Mmm, goulash! Then the two pigs ran to the house made of bricks. They were chased by the wolf, who was not quite as quick. He huffed and he puffed, but the house stayed whole. So the wolf climbed the roof, shouting, Mmm, casserole! The three pigs ran and fetched a pot. Quick, said Piggy Bricks, let's make it hot. As the hungry wolf jumped down the chimney tower, he landed in the pot, screaming, Ow! Sweet and sour! The wolf jumped out and ran far away from the bricks, the wood and the pile of hay. The lesson of this story is be careful what you pick. Think before you act. Make your house out of bricks. The End Jack and the Beanstalk by Giant Storytime Books Jack Pot was very poor. He lived in a house with his mother, Dotty, and a cow called Skimmed Milk. But Skimmed Milk wasn't giving any milk, so Dotty sent Jack to sell Skimmed Milk at the market. Jack met a little old lady who said, Give me that cow and I'll give you these magic beans. Magic, said Jack. Look what I got for skimmed milk, said Jack. Dotty went nutty and threw the beans out of the window. The next morning, Jack looked out of the window and saw a giant beanstalk growing out of the garden and into the sky. Jack climbed the beanstalk to see where it led. At the top was a huge castle. Inside the castle, there was a tall table and chair. Someone big lives here, said Jack. Then he saw a box filled with gold. Jack grabbed the gold and put it in his pockets. Suddenly the door burst open and a gigantic giant marched inside. He roared, fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones into my bread. The giant spotted Jack in the box of gold. Jack jumped out and ran back to the beanstalk. The giant followed Jack and roared, Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. I'll have him steamed, I'll have him stewed, I'll have him boiled or barbecued. Jack reached the bottom of the beanstalk and shouted to his mother, Get an axe! Jack chopped and chopped until there was a creak and a crack and the beanstalk fell down. The giant fell to the ground too and that was the end of him. Jack showed his mother the gold. We've hit the jackpot, jackpot, she said with a grin. Jack bought skimmed milk back and they all lived happily ever after. The End <laughs>